Hey there, quick note before we dive in, what you're watching right now is a lesson from one of my courses that I've decided to release completely for free here on YouTube so you don't have to pay a dime. So instead of asking you to buy my course, if you want to show your appreciation, here's a couple of things that you can do. Like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel. These small actions tell YouTube to share my content with more people, which is a huge help. Also, feel free to check out my recommended equipment links in the description below. If you do purchase equipment from these links, I do get a small commission at no extra cost to you whatsoever. Or if you want to, you can leave me a super thanks or even just hit play on one of my playlists. I know it sounds silly, but if you just hit play on one of my playlists and let it play in the background, even if you're not paying attention, it again, it tells YouTube, hey, people are watching these videos. I'm going to push it out to more people. So even if you just want to do that, I would love it. I would appreciate it so much. And then lastly, if you're looking for more personalized help, I do offer private coaching that you can find in the description of this video. Either way, I really appreciate you whether you choose to do one of these things or not just by simply watching this video it means a lot to me thank you so much now let's get to the lesson all right so when we created and applied our effect stack it took forever it was really annoying having to go through each effect one at a time so there must be a faster way to do this right well there is thank goodness so that's what we're going to do right now um all right so you're going to go to tools and then you're going to go to macro manager Okay, and then I'm going to create a new macro and let's just name it James Macro. Click OK. All right, so we are now starting with James Macro. We're going to make one um, from scratch. So you're going to make sure to click this um, little area right here. Make sure this is highlighted in blue. This is really important. It's going to help keep all of the plugins in order. So make sure you click this, make it go blue, and then you're going to go to insert. And the first thing that we're going to look for is EQ because we're, we're creating our stack for a macro so that we can literally just click a button and have it apply everything. So I'm going to look for TDR Nova. All right, so let me find it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I feel like I'm just going to pass it really fast. Come on, where are you at? I know you're oh, Here we go. TDR Nova. And then once you click that, you're going to go to Edit Parameters because you need to tell it what you want it to do. It's already set for me at 60 hertz with a high pass, so we're good. So now all I have to do is click um, Apply, which is great, and then click OK. Boom, as you can see, I've already put my first plugin. So make sure to click this again so it's blue, and then you're going to go again to Insert, and up next is the Mouth D-Click. So I've got to find the one from Isotope. Um, where would that be? Here we go, here we go, here we go. Um, I got to find the right one. Here it is, RX10 D click. I'm going to go to edit parameters and that's already set to multiband random clicks. That's at three. We're good to go. Hit apply, hit okay. And as you can see, we're building the stack. You see where this is going. So make sure you click that again, go to insert. And this is where you're going to look for the denoiser. All right. So let me find that now. Here we are. RX. Um, voice denoise, where are you at? Probably right in front of me. There we go. Voice denoise, edit parameters. I'm going to have this at seven. Let's just say again, hopefully you won't need a denoiser, but let's just go ahead and apply it and then click OK. And then the last thing is going to be your compressor. So I'm going to look for the compressor in Audacity. Where are you at? Um, there you are. Compressor, edit parameters. And then, of course, negative 12, whatever your noise floor is, ratio 2 to 1, attack all the way to the left, all the way to the left. Don't check these boxes. Hit apply. Hit OK. And then last, we're going to normalize our audio. OK, so we got to find normalization. Uh, where is normalization? Right here, normalize, edit parameters. It's set properly. Make sure that's checked. Negative 3. Hit apply. Hit OK. Now this is your macro or an effect stack, um, but they just call it macro inside of Audacity. Now all you gotta do is save it and then close. All right, and now all we have to do is, let's say we're done recording our audition, okay? And we're like, okay, I need to apply all my effects. Well, rather than having to go to effect and find them one at a time and hit apply, all you have to do now is go to tools, apply macro, and then James macro, and there you have it. Everything's done. See how much faster that is. So 
Now you can really speed up your auditions. You can pump more out, and hopefully that will up your booking ratio. Um, so, but now that we've we've applied the macro, and I've showed you how to create the macro and make things uh, go a lot smoother and a lot faster, you can do the same thing with keyboard shortcuts. Okay, so remember how? Let's just take this for example. Remember how we would highlight audio, and we could go up here to this silence audio selection, and we can do that, and it would silence the audio. Well, there's actually a much faster way to do this. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to Edit, and then you're going to go down to Preferences. And then you're going to look for shortcuts. And then you are going to type up in here this tool, the name of that tool. So type in Silence Audio. And here it is, Silence Audio right here. This is that tool. I've already created my shortcut with the S key, but this will be something else or nothing. All you have to do is type in S here and then type in Set or, or click Set, then click OK. And then from now on, instead of you having to go up to this little stupid, annoying, tiny <laughs> um, button, you can just go through here and click S. And it's so much more efficient. It's so much faster. You can do this with so many different uh, uh, functions inside Audacity, like just anything that you can think of, copy, paste, whatever you can think of to make your life easier and to make everything that you're doing much more efficient and faster. Definitely give it a go. Um, but that is uh, shortcuts and automation inside Audacity.